Hello so friends, in this video we are going to learn about the React Native localization. So it's like some of the apps you want to create which have the localization of English, Hindi or French, Spanish. So such kind of localization can be managed with the help of the React Native localization. So it has much downloads so that we can use that package, right? So what we have to do for the package, I will show you the demo currently. So here is the demo. So I'm going to create on the Spanish. So all the text gonna be Spanish, right? If I'm going to back with the English, so it will show you all this English text. If I go to the French one, so it will show that text, right? So this is how we are going to learn or Chinese it is. So I will just type it in French. You can I'll just change it. Okay. So this how how we are going to make this language application in the React Native. So let's begin the tutorial. So I have already made this. So just I will tell you about the steps how to make it right. So these are the these are the commands that you need to run before uh, before starting the app. So this will create the create the full fledged uh, dummy you can say React Native app. After this, what we have to do this is a current structure. In the components, we have content screen, language screen, and we have app.js and the string file for the conversion of every, every data. So you can see that in the ES, we have mentioned the welcome text in the different different languages, right? Okay, so if I, uh, you can see that if in Spanish, you can see that in this Spanish text, there is internationals, right? So you can see that here we have in a Spanish ES, here this is Texas coming on right so you can see that so this is we are putting on into the app.js if I go to the app.js this is the screen so stack screen language screen a stack screen content screen so these two screens we are including right with the background color okay after this we have the language screen and the content screen so let's check the language screen what we have in the language screen we have the data like in the short form there is en zs or and this and the long form is this which is showing currently so you can see that whenever we uh, we have the style dot we have mentioned we have just on the text we have long form so long form is basically english spanish and french you can see that this is the text that we are getting in right and this is uh, and the first we have go to be select the language after this text this is the just icon after this we have lang dot map so basically it's a language that that is a tree so we are going to use the map map function of the javascript whenever person clicking on on press the any of the button so it will set the text so it set the text whatever the value it will go, go set string set language and the value then navigate to the content screen with the selected language with value right so we, we have passed it to the content screen. So after going to the content screen, let's go to the content screen. So it will check if the root param selected language is this one, this one or that one. It will navigate with set options with title heading. It will then show you that one. So here strings of language we have used welcome and the sign out text. So this is title or heading whenever there is a movement of selected languages e and es so title heading would be the whatever we have set here so you can see that so if i go to select so in the title you can set that uh, selected language is english so when i go to the french you will see that selected language is french so this set the language accordingly in, is with the help of this that code use effect right and what and in the view we have a string of languages we have done then we will putting out the welcome text then we are taking the welcome text, whatever the language it's selected, right? So this is that set for uh, that is for the localization part. So any issue, anything that you have don't understand, just let me know in the comment section. Okay. So that yeah, that's it for now. And let's uh, see what we have in the next video. Thank you so much for watching this video. Have a great day.